Hey everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours truly coming to you live in full effect. I'm doing a podcast. I know, I know it's a difficult time these days to do a podcast. I'm not going to raise my voice or shout people down. Uh, that's what I don't do on my podcast. I try not to, and I don't raise my voice. Uh, and I try, I try to be as nice person as I can be on my podcast. Um, I don't shout down or raise my voice to anybody. Um, I try and be as as polite as I can be. Uh, the uh, the person that I am, I'm going to the age 50 and you, uh, need no adduction, uh, like no intros or anything. But anyway, I just want to say this is going to be a test, a test to uh, input gain. This is the input, uh, input gain level on the microphone. Uh, see, uh, see if it's level checked, if it's audio level checked, uh, if it's going to be recorded properly. Um, I know everybody should do right on at the time that you record it, but I like to make sure the uh, the audio levels are kind of sounding pretty good. Um, I, I just I, I like to be uh, the no uh, the person that I like to be. I'm having a uh, I'm having a, uh, a serious meltdown here, a serious flipping meltdown on my on my uh, podcast. I'm just uh, I'm just having a serious meltdown, and it's crazy to have one <laughs> on a on a. Uh, Monday day, and it's great, it's great, and um, I just want to say that uh, life is beautiful, life is great, life is what you make it to be, um, if you want to uh, go out there and do snowflakes, if it's snow is your deal, go make snowflakes, if it's wintry, uh, summery, if it's uh, fall-like leather, just adapt to it, just adapt to it as much as you can, just adapt to it, the weather it is out there, it's going to be great, it's going to be wonderful, uh, we just had Halloween, and we just just almost coming up to Christmas. Uh, between October and December, it's just Christmas time. Or if there's any birthdays between October and November, uh, there's going to be a lot of few birthdays along the line. But uh, we have Christmas and New Year's Eve. Christmas uh, Eve, Christmas Eve, and New Year's Eve is about to come out. We're going to have a brand new year, 20 years in the year 2000s. Uh, 20 years, that's 20 years in the making. Of this year's and uh, there's been 9/11. There's been so many events happened in the past 20 years of this tw uh, 2000 year. Um, I like to say that for a fact that uh, we're coming up to the year 2020. Year 2020. Can you believe that I'm still alive after the, since the 70s? Still alive to this day. Um, thank God up above that I'm not have gone yet to the to the heavens above. Uh, we all die. Our soul never dies. I, I, I got to tell all you people, this is a theory of mine. The soul never dies, but a body does. It goes six feet underground. Your soul goes up to heaven or wherever it goes. Uh, it doesn't die off. Uh, the, the, I was watching a video the other day, and they like to freeze people's bodies. Uh, so in the near distant future, they'll revive them. Uh, I don't know if that's a good theory. But anyway, that was a theory... Uh, uh, no, nonetheless, it's a theory, but I think in retrospect, a lot of people just want to be buried. Simple as that. Just simple as that. As soon as they, uh, you know, as soon as they, uh, their heart gives out, their kidneys don't work, or your body uh, functions don't work. I think you know, if doctors or nurses can't do very much, they'll they usually they usually say uh, they can. Like I've been always been saying, doctors and nurses can only do so much in the health field. Um, but if they can't do it as much as they can't be on uh, uh, what they could do, they could do operations, they could fix you. That's the beauty of being human. They can make you feel better, not worse, but better. Uh, you know, we can, uh, it's like in the war. In the, in the 40s, they used to have people on call. On, uh, it's, like, uh, it's like they're on call. If the war veterans were wounded and stuff like that, they would be at a certain area. And be fixed up. Uh, they bandage. They would do operations right there and then. Essentially, they don't need a hospital to do it in a private set setting, kind of thing. Um, so yeah. Um, so that's what I said. So this is a great. We have hospitals in the world. We have. Uh, don't get me wrong. Hospitals, doctors, nurses are great, wonderful. They can only do so much in the health field. Uh, they're trying to make us better, not worse, as the old theory goes. Um, they're not trying to make you worse than you already are. They're trying to make you better than you are. If it means through uh, uh, through uh, pills, and these are good pills, not the ones that you hear in the news. 
these are good, healthy pills that uh, whatever the doctor scribes you at, whatever doctor you're at, and these are anybody, anybody around the world that goes to a hospital and has doctors, you know, look after them and stuff like that. They're there to make you healthy, not worse than you already are. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know my own body very much. Then I'm supposed to know everything, but I don't. Um, I always say to these doctors and nurses, "You're the people who get you. Uh, you're the people that get paid for doing this sort of thing." I see. I'm usually I usually say to them, "I'm the patient. You're the doctor. You know as much as you're, you're you're in the health field. You know all this stuff. You have the books about it, so you know pretty much all this stuff that." Uh, you go to these uh, medical uh, meetings and stuff like that, and you probably figure out what, uh, in your medical books, you probably figure out what can be done. You know, uh, but, you know, like I said, I'm the patient, you're the doctor or nurse, whatever the case may be. Uh, <laughs> I just iterate that to them. Uh, so, uh, just like I said, I'm the patient, you're the doctor. So the doctor knows more than I know. Uh, in my health sort of thing. And that's, I like to put that forthright with everybody. Um, the patient only is good as the doctor, or the doctor is great as the, uh, as the patient. So it works both ways. It's like the master versus the apprentice in the Star Wars film. The master is like the, like the Darth Vader, he's the master. Luke Skywalker, he's the uh, apprentice guy. He's learning the uh, ways of the of the Jedi, <laughs> sort of thing. I've been watching Star Wars too long to know this. Anyway, uh, Luke Skywalker, as he's known in the uh, films, he was the he was the apprentice guy. He was learning the ropes of being a, a, a I don't know a lightsaber kind of guy. Um, uh, and uh, Darth Vader, he's the master of all masters. Um, He's, uh, he's taught all these people the way of the, um, you know, of the Star Wars thing. Uh, and, and, you know, Star Wars really, uh, uh, they really took it literally. I mean, you get Darth Vader, who's the Dark Lord, as people would say. And the Prentice, who is Luke Skywalker, is the, you know, um, uh, Mark Hamilton. He's the, he's the Prentice guy. He's the Prentice of all Star Wars films. He's learning the ropes. Learning the ropes of you know, being a starfighter kind of guy, and he's learning uh, you know that it, it's like it's like uh, you're at a beginning stage and the other guy is at the uh, advanced stage, so so we all need to learn each time each time more more than ever. Uh, it's like up the food chain essentially, um, and maybe just maybe if you're lucky. They might, uh, you, one of these days, you might be like the Dart Vader. You might be the, the, the uh, Dart, oh, Lord. <laughs> I hate to say this. I'm trying to work around this theory here. Um, uh, so, yeah, Dart Vader is the Dark Lord. He's the evil guy in Star Wars. Uh, and he has his, uh, what do you call his, um, uh, his uh, alias people, or whatever they are. Um, he's the leadership of the entire world essentially um luke skywalker he's just learning the ropes of a luke sky of a <laughs> luke skywalker kind of guy and he's doing what he's doing he's got to do what he's got to do you know um it's kind of theory and that's a good theory i like to work on it's a really sensible uh way of looking at it uh, and it's no rocket science just the uh, luke skywalker's lunar rope maybe maybe he gets a chance to be like darth vader and not be like the Luke Skywalker kind of guy. Anyway, just my theory on that one. Um, but he's got to fight the good fight, the lines. He's got to fight the lines. And he's, he's learned it each time, each time along the way um, to be that leader. It's like, it's like in the government. It's like uh, Justin Trudeau's the uh, prime minister. He worked their way up to the prime minister office. You know? <laughs> and thus is, you know... It's sort of like, uh, the government's sort of like the uh, Star Wars theory, you know? But, um, anyway, I, I just want to do a, uh, just an audio check and see you guys on the next one. Peace, y'all.